welcome to the Sunday edition of the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I'm your host. I'm Kurt. Today is Sunday, the 15th of August of 2021. Welcome to everybody who's here on Rumble and the podcast on YouTube. Remember, Rumble is my preferred platform where I would prefer to have you watch me. Obviously, you can watch me from wherever you can get me, and I'm not going to complain wherever you happen to do that. Uh, the subject of today's little video is invited, and I'm going to go ahead very quickly and run through my notes so that you have an idea what I'm talking about. Um, this is maybe going to seem a little counterintuitive at first. Maybe not. I don't know. It depends on how you look at the world. When you invite somebody into your house, is it really that unreasonable when they take you up on the invitation? Like it or not, this is what's happened on our southern border. Where I'm a supporter of following the law, unless you can't do it in conscience, is it really all that surprising that folks who know a given law will almost never be enforced readily break it? Is it really reasonable to treat people basically told it's okay or it's totally fine to enter the U.S. like uh, like an invading army? Is that really an okay thing in your mind? I really wouldn't say so. Why are we where we find ourselves at present? The answer seems pretty obvious to me at this point. Another thought. Do you know what's happening in regions of southern Texas right now, a bunch of people, largely Hispanic folks, are waking up to realize they're conservatives. And no, they're not from places like Cuba. In fact, generally not. Okay, that's the end of my notes. So here's the thing. When Donald Trump was in office in the United States, and you know I'm loath to mention names, but I have to do this because it's, how, it's an explanation of where we are at this point in time. He made it quite plain to those people trying to cross the southern border that they were going to do so only in circumstances where it was reasonable for them to do so. He basically told people, if you're not really, truly seeking asylum in the United States or going through the standard immigration process, you're not good to come into the United States, plain and simple. When um, Joe Biden came into office, he basically reversed all of that. And it seems to me that he made it quite plain that people were, quote, invited into the United States, that they should start coming in as they felt like they ought to. And obviously the numbers rose dramatically. Here's the thing. I'm not saying that we don't have what amounts to an invasion on, invasion on the southern border as uh, uh, something to think about. The, the, to me, the generally worth watching um channel on Rumble, the fellow limited duty, I guess he goes by. Uh, I'm not saying that he's not right in a sense, okay? I'm not saying that there's not a sort of a southern border invasion. I will say two things that are significant in this situation, other than to say, well, okay, let, let me just do this. Let me just say this. One, it seems to me that we're inviting people into the into the United States through the southern border. And that doesn't necessarily mean folks who are Mexican or even South America, South or Central American, but literally people coming from all over the world are coming through the the southern to the, you know, through the southern border to get to the United States. And what's funny is we're blocking off our northern border. We're telling the Cuban people that they can't come to the United States when they're really probably fairly people seeking asylum in the United States. We're telling all of these people, you can't do that. But we're not saying that about the southern border, or at least we haven't been. Maybe we're kind of moving a little bit in that direction now. But the point is, when things started out with the Biden administration, we can definitely say that that wasn't the case. Now, you can say what you like. You can say what, oh, well, look, here's what the law says and all of that. But you know when people don't enforce the laws what the general result is. Look, all you have to do is look at what's happening in terms of traffic violations in the United States, speeding and various things that are going on, people running red lights and so forth, to see that if you don't uphold the law, people will do as they please. And this is no different on the southern border. And more importantly, like I say, you've literally got people on the uh, in the United States and the government who are saying, essentially, come on in, the water's fine sort of thing, right? That's what they're doing. So the pro that's problem one. Problem one is that you've got a, a government in place that is saying to people who are outside the United States, you should be allowed to come into the United States. And unfortunately, they're not even consistent who they're saying that to, or it's to say that to everybody. I'll put it in that way. Because they're consistent who they're saying it to. They're just not consistent on 
the idea that everyone should have that opportunity. And by the way, I don't agree that everyone should have that opportunity. I don't even agree that people coming across the southern border should. The second thing that I will say is this. If China were to send troops into Mexico, which I don't think it could easily do, but let's say they managed to find a way to do that. And they sent a bunch of young men in, and those young men were there to overthrow the United States government. That would be one thing. The people who are coming in from Mexico, South and Central America, and even other parts of the world, Africa and so forth, those people largely are not coming to the United States with the idea of taking it over. They're coming in with an idea of a better life. Am I saying that none of those people have the idea of, of a uh, changing the United States into something different than what it currently is. I'm not saying that at all, right? And I don't think anybody with any sense would say that. I'll just point that out straight up. That having been said, though, though there are a bunch of people who maybe don't have great ideas about what the United States ought to be uh, coming into the United States through the southern border, though that's true, Many of those people will come into the United States, they will realize who else is coming into the United States, and if they're good people, they'll realize that there are a bunch of not-so-great people that are getting across the border. MS-13, drug smugglers, mules smuggling drugs for drug smugglers, people who are, um, you know, really shady, nasty individuals. And, I, you know, I'm going to say the same thing Donald Trump would have said about this, and I don't care that people don't like it. Yes, there are a lot of people coming across the border who are comparatively good people. I will say that you're breaking the laws of the United States in order to come here. So it's almost impossible to say they're the caliber of people that you want unless they're doing proper immigra immigration processes. But that having been said, there's still a lot of them that really are just at their wits end on how to make life work. And they've found out that they can get across into the United States and that they probably can get lost in the population and at least have a period of respite with regard to their time so that they can make their life a little better and maybe send some money home to their family who's still living wherever, Mexico, South America, Central America somewhere, or even somewhere in Africa or whatever, like I say, in Asia, whatever, right? Uh, Europe even possibly, though I think that that's less of a possibility or a likelihood. My point is to say this, though. In amongst those people are some truly horrible human beings. There are people who will kill people to do it. There are men who will rape ladies because they can or, you know, whatever, whatever it happens to be. There are people who will take things from people that don't belong to them and have no reason to to assume that that's OK, but will do it anyway. There are people who are carrying various viruses, diseases and so forth. And I will say, I think that that probably includes COVID. I don't know what the numbers look like. It doesn't really matter. These people are not being checked in any way because they're coming into the United States in ways such that they basically get lost in the population. If, if people out there are to be believed, some of these people are literally being flown into other parts of the country and dumped. And this is inappropriate. This is not correct. It's simple. As long as we invite people in, and that uh, I'll explain what the, what we need to do about that in a sec. As long as we invite people in, we're going to have problems. That's just all there is to it. Now, what do we do about that? Well, the answer is simple. We need to get people out of power who are willing to just invite folks in without doing any kind of work to make sure that they're people who really ought to be there. We have an immigration system on purpose, just like almost every country in the world. We're not saying to people, you can't come to the United States. We're not saying you can't seek asylum if you have good cause. We're not saying you can't come for a better life if you want to do that. We're not saying any of that. All we're saying is this is the process. Now, to be fair, the process is not good. You could argue that it's broken and it does need fixed. But right now we've got people in office in, in the highest level places in the country, down to often to the lowest, who are willing to just let people cross the border without any real um, per, proper uh, vetting at all occurring as they're doing so. All right, I need to go ahead and wrap things up. This is the Daily Summation from Kurt's Religion and Politics. I'm your host. I'm Kurt. Uh, today is Sunday, the 15th of August of 2021. Tomorrow will be Monday, the 16th of August of 2021. The, today's subject has been invited. By the way, well, uh, thank you for everybody who's here on Rumble. 
the podcast YouTube. Remember, Rumble is my preferred platform. Uh, you can give me a positive or a bo- the boxing glove on Rumble. You can give me a negative Rumble if you want to do that. You can give me a thumbs up or a like or a thumbs down or dislike on YouTube. Remember also that you can comment on either of those two platforms. Again, today we have been talking about uh, Invited. And tomorrow we're going to talk about the, an autism-related subject. But it's actually a little broader than that. And I call it Truth to Autism. Hope to see you on tomorrow's uh, Daily Summation from Kurtz Religion and Politics. Hope you're having a good day and that everything is going well for you. The speaker on this edition of the Daily Summation is Kurt Schubert. This video is recorded on Sunday, August 15th of 2021. The Daily Summation is created for Kurtz Religion and Politics. Thanks for watching this edition of the Daily Summation from Kurtz Religion and Politics. I hope you found it entertaining or instructional or maybe both. Uh, if you want to see more from me, you can go to blogs.kpshubert.com. That's blogs.kpshubert.com. I am on Twitter, Parlor, and Minds.com. My handle on each of those is at kpshubert. That's at kpshubert. I have a Rumble and a YouTube channel. They are the Kurtz Re- Religion and Politics channels on Rumble and YouTube. I have a Facebook page. The Facebook page is Kurt's Religion and Politics as well. I have I am on Patreon. If you want to support me, that's one of the better places you can do that. And you will find me at Kurt's Religion and Politics on Patreon. I have a podcast. The podcast is podcasts with, a, with an S dot kpshubert dot com. That's podcasts dot kpshubert dot com. I think you should be able to find me with relative ease on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Spotify as well. The best way I find to do that is to look for Kurt's Religion and Politics. You can try to use the Daily Summation. I find that it doesn't work as well as a general rule, but you can always try that. I'm glad to have you aboard today, and hopefully we will see you again tomorrow.